What's going on, Tunes Nation? I hope you're having an awesome day. So today, Paragon Draw V45. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna go over all the cards on screen as well as read the uh, patch notes on the official Epic Games forum. Uh, starting off in Chaos, Deathcrawler. Uh, they just fixed an issue where it would no longer function after being swapped for a different card while dead. Pressure Hunter, it actually got a buff. Uh, it's now deals three bonus damage to targets while with more vitality than you. So, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, if the math is right. If somebody has full vitality at 25 and you have zero, and let's just say you had this on a carry, you're doing additional 75 damage to anybody with more uh, with maxed out vitality. Like that's that's crazy. I was expecting some people were expecting a nerf, honestly, but this right here, it's it actually got a buff. So hey, okay. Uh, Thorn Yami, uh, nothing really big. Can no longer be activated while stunned. Improved audio effects. Blah blah. blah. Uh, Death awaken the Emmerich. Let me pull it up real quick. It no longer grants health regen. It's actually, it gives you now uh, 240 max health. Grinning Spectre, uh, Spectre, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I never had a problem with this. It says, fix an issue where Grinning Spectre uh, would previously be interrupted by non-targeted enemies, causing both enemies to be executed. Okay. Uh, Nuke Blood, that's actually a chaos. I don't know why it's on death. Uh, right here. Um, fix an issue where Sarah's Heaven's Fury would not proc passive, pr not proc to passive. Okay, cool. Numbing Rogue. Now this is a big one, guys. Uh, where's that right here? Yeah. So it no longer like is a constant 20% speed reduction. It's now a 6% speed slow, and it actually has an active ability you see on screen right here. Each of the next five basic attacks with uh within 10 seconds steal eight attack speed from enemy heroes. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean it's a, what's the, what's the phrase, make or break card. I still like it for the health and basic armor. Some people might be drawn away from it because of this new, you know, rework. Uh, Possessed Sprite can no longer grants power. Some people had a big problem with this card. So this, you might see a lot of people stray away from this because of that. It, it is good for the health regen and uh, max health, but there are so many other cards like, hold on, like order... Where is it at? Uh, uh, this right here. Seven health regen. It's a 2-1. That's just as good, if not better. I mean, you can also go for um, Veil, Steel, Veil Stepper, which I use personally. I love this card so much. Uh, another one, Vampiric Blade, improved visual clarity, whatever. Warlock's Burden, no longer able to be interrupted. Stun, silence, no longer automatically be canceled, untoggled, off card. Okay, cool. Wicked Repostle. Uh, where is that? Right there. Uh, they actually reduced the mana cost from 75 to 50, reduced cooldown from 90 seconds to 45. Withering Shadow, uh, no longer be uninterrupted. Okay, never had a problem with that. Going into growth. Uh, Coursing Zephyr, right here. Uh, reduced mana cost from 75 to 50, reduced cooldown from 65 to 35. Flame of Zetchen, uh, this is not really that big a deal. They reduced the attack speed on it. Okay, whatever. Growth Totem. Now this, I'm not going to be using this anymore. They reduced the um, the scaling of it, right? The the, the reduced the health gain per minute from 20 to 18. Reduced the power from 0.75 to 0.65. Now, the card was okay after they patched it the first time. The first time it was like really overpowered. They did it again today. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to use it. That's just me. Pack leader, uh, where is that at? It's right here next to it. Reduced, oh, actually increased the power from eight to nine, reduced cooldown from 50 seconds to 40 seconds. This is kind of like an underestimated card. It was nerfed before. Uh, I think it was like, uh, minions will attack the target for 30 seconds. That was a big thing back in like 43 or 44, whenever they did it. Uh, Trapper, it kind of got a nerf, not really. Uh, attack speed reduced from 30 to Sorry, from 32 to 30. Uh, reduce slow percentage hit from 5% 5, 5 to 4%. They actually reworked Unbroken Spirit. Uh, this is kind of interesting, the way they did this. Uh, all the stats are the same. It's just a passive. Heal for 3% max health every 0.5 seconds while affected by hard crowd control. So the way I'm interpreting this is instead of a flat 3, per, three seconds for 3% max health, it's now every 0.5 seconds. So if you're stunned for one second, you know, you'll you'll be healed for only one second 
of that 3% max health. That makes sense. So, like, you'll get the health regen. I, I believe this is what it is. You'll get the health regen of your 3% of max health for that duration instead of just a flat three seconds of that health regen. So, kind of follow with me there. So, it kind of got a nerf, like I'm saying. It used to be three three seconds now at max. It's probably like two and a half from like, I don't know, a Narvash Stonk or something. Whatever the highest uh, stun lock is. Going into knowledge. Uh, Arcane Dancer. Increased health, max health from 205 to 255. Not a big deal. Uh, it's it's kind of a decent card. A lot of people don't use it, actually. I, I don't really play around with it that much. Cryo Agent. There were some bug fixes for that. Black Ice Routine. Um, right there. Uh, increase max health from 240 to 270. Okay, cool. I don't see a lot of people using that card either. Uh, Echelon Soldier, Echelon Soldier, however you want to pronounce it. Um, it got a power increase from 12 to 15. Okay, I could say I could start seeing some people maybe use that card more. Mana Flow Acolyte. Now this card got a I say a pretty decent buff. Increased power gain per intelligent point. Uh, purchase from 0.5% to 1%. That's a pretty big power spike. OPD Militia, they just changed a couple of bugs from certain characters. Uh, power Tap, it says can no longer be activated while stunned. Honestly, I don't know why you would enter the battlefield with the Power Tap on and then expect to activate it when you get stunned. Like, you're just taking up a card slot. Activate it, activate it when you're in tower or when you're at the core and then just put another card on. Uh, they reworked Shipyard Scavenger. Now, this might be a pretty darn good poking card for you OPD builds out there. Uh, after killing an enemy unit, your next basic attack deals 25 bo bonus damage. That's That seems pretty legit. Uh, I don't see a lot of people using it. The old card way it was where you would gain, what was it, like 250 bonus gold? I'm, I don't, I'm not even sure because I never used it. It was okay. Um, static Trap. Fix an issue where only one trap could be placed at a time. Stasis rune. What do they do with that? Right there. Uh, increased power from 14 to 16. Now grants 12 basic armor. Okay, that's not that bad. Uh, that might be something to look at, look at guys. Uh, Thaumaturge. Increased max mana from 105 to 155. Wetwire virus. It, uh, increased ability armor from 18 to 24. Okay, cool. That's it for that. So going into order. I'm just trying to get this quickly, guys. Domain of Stillness, I'll have, also I'll have this uh, in the description, all the patch notes and all that. Domain of Stillness, pretty good uh, buff. Power increase from 16 to 20, form of Grubbish. Um, a little, what is it, improved consistency and feel, blah, blah, blah. Lamplighter, fix an issue where players could still place wards after unequipping Lamplighter. I've never seen that before. Uh, I'm kind of glad they got uh, rid of that exploit. They fixed two gems, Onslaught and Spell Shield, like, improve visual and fix an issue where cooldown from steel shield blast whatever but that's all the card update guys uh let me know your thoughts down in the comments leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video i know it's kind of short uh again you can follow along with me reading the patch notes i'll leave a link in the description make sure to subscribe we're almost at 600 subs i'll talk to you guys later peace